got that one there. So, Don, tell me, what are these? These are some. These, these are even smaller than nukes. What are they? This is a four-frame mini queen mating nuke. The sole purpose is to mate a queen. This is a five-frame nuke box, which is the nucleus of a strong hive. This you put right in to your your full-size hive. This five-frame nuke box here. Hey, can you one, can you put one of those little ones on top of the nuke so we can see the difference? This here is oh man, that's much. Smaller. It's strictly for mating queens, and you have a small hole, and it only takes three or four bees to guard this. When you set this up, you put your new wax in here, and you put four frames in here, one queen cell, and a cup of bees. That's all it takes to mate this queen. And you can put these things three inches apart. I have them in rows. The entrance is here. On this one, the entrance is over here. So you reverse your entrances. It's typical to run several thousand of these at one location. Several thousand? So you several, have several thousand queens going on at once? Several thousand queens. Wow. So, so you have them at all stages. And we have, this is over here for demonstration purposes. People want to raise Ross Browns. And Ross Browns is, is a high dollar type honey. And people say you can't make it on 10 frame hives. Here we have a five frame nuke. And this has got Ross Rounds on it. Oh, wow. So people say, you know, it's difficult to raise. If you got organic bees and the bees are healthy, it takes about one-tenth as many bees to produce a hive of honey, of, of frames of honey. Where if you put all the chemicals and the dope in there, you know, it, it, the bees just ain't healthy. And, and they won't work as hard. They don't feel like it. These bees, the temperament is a lot better because you don't have all the chemical in there to agitate them. Watch that stump there. Okay. It's, it's common to put uh, Ross rounds on a five frame box and run 50 of them out here if, if you want to produce honey. And Well, honey's a byproduct for you. Huh? Honey is strictly a byproduct for me. I do this for students to show them you don't need a great big propolis hive to, to make this honey. And this combination of going either a deep and then your supers on here, a lot of women and older folks, they run all mediums all the way up. They just keep stacking them. This and this, that resembles the natural type of a, what a, a situation the bees are going to do in a tree. Mm -hmm. If this was like a tree, this is natural. The only difference is you can take one box off and you can work the hive. These wide hives is unnatural. Bees don't build horizontally, they build vertically. So you stay more with what the natural bee is going to do. Interesting. And produce more honey and easier to handle. Hmm. Well, let's move on. Alright, here's two ways to feed them. Jar feeding and hive top feeders. These are uh, the hive top feeders which goes on these nukes, and what you can do is you put your sugar water in here, and if you're cleaning inside your hive, you're scraping wax out, you put it in the back compartment, and at the end of the day, you come through and you collect all this wax. Oh, so it's just a, a convenient a receptacle. Yes, and this screen keeps the bees from flying up. You can open the hive, you can look down in there, they'll come up and get this feed. They won't be flying up in your face no matter what the weather is. You can easier put your uh, your natural treatments on here. You can take honey and mix it with tea tree oil as an uh, antifungal and antibiotic, and you can give it to them. They don't fly up and get you. What other sorts of treatments do you use? You said that you put uh, tea tree oil. What else well, did you I, use? What I'm doing for hive beetle control, as you can see, I'm in a pine thicket. I should have more mites than anybody out in the open sun. But if you put boric acid in the bottom of your hive, in a little political sign and put a little crystal there to keep that boric acid in there, the beetles will go into those little tunnels, eat the boric acid, and kills them. If you keep everything under control, it doesn't get out of hand. You change out your little pads every three or four months, and it's very cheap. You can, you can treat a thousand highs for ten bucks. If you put other chemicals in there, 
By the time you treat this here, you'd need a truckload of money. So you use like tea tree oil, wintergreen, boric acid? I use a lot of essence of oils, and I get into that more in depth with when I have my students come up and we are going through different treatments. Well, I can't. I guess we'll have to join you then. Yes.